Welcome to Isla Mujeres, Mexico. Join us as we explore the top five best things to do on this incredibly popular island just off the coast of Cancun. Let's go. Hey guys, two gay expats here. I'm Andy. And I'm Trey. If you are new to our channel, welcome and thanks for joining us. On this channel, we highlight our adventures around the world to show you what places are really like if you are thinking of living, working, or retiring abroad. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our tips on moving to Mexico and our travel adventures. Let's jump right into our countdown of the top five best things to do on Isla Mujeres with number five. We kick things off with a visit to Punta Sur, the southernmost tip of this Mexican Caribbean island paradise. On arrival, you'll find a beautiful restaurant with shaded tables for outdoor dining. It's likely going to be hot out, so it's a nice stop for some refreshment before or after your visit. Entrance is just 30 pesos or about $1.50 and provides access to numerous walking paths with stunning sea views. There are also over 20 sculptures, which make for great photo ops. Another fun fact is Punta Sur is the highest point on the island at 20 meters or about 65 feet. We have made it down to the very southernmost point of Punta Sur and this is the first place where the sun strikes the country of Mexico every morning. So if you come back for sunrise, you'll be the first person in Mexico to see the sunrise. At this end of the island, the Spanish explorers also found a variety of female figures near a small Maya temple, hence the name Isla Mujeres or Women Island. On the complete opposite side of the island, we have number four on our list, Relax on Playa Norte. This stunning beach is one of two newly designated blue flag beaches on the island. From July 21st, 2022, both Playa Norte and nearby Playa Centro will raise a blue flag to celebrate this impressive international award. In addition to crystal clear blue water and soft white sand, You'll find numerous beach clubs, restaurants, and bars where you can rent shaded loungers and order some refreshing drinks or delicious seafood. And if you stick around until the evening, you'll be rewarded with some unbelievable sunsets. It's just one more reason Playa Norte is the most popular beach on the island. For today's adventure, we are renting a golf cart and heading off to explore the island. I've never been golfing, and I still won't have been. <laughs> A full day rental at Pepe's costs us 1,100 pesos or about $50 including tax, gas, and insurance. And at just under five miles long, a golf cart is definitely the preferred way to get around the island. Actually, I've only driven an electric golf cart. I was actually just thinking that too. I've only driven an electric. When you're hitting the uh, gas, it really gives a lot of go. And that's not pushing it down very far. Yeah, this is so exciting. As we make our way down the west side of the island, we pass the Isla Mujeres whale shark sign and then the Ched supermarket where you can pick up anything you need for your stay. It's our go-to grocery store in Mexico. Just before Punta Sur, there is the Garafon Reef Park and Beach Club where you can snorkel, kayak, and zip line or just simply relax. Circle around to the east side of the island at Punta Sur to work your way back north. We love seeing the beautiful yachts on the water and driving past luxury homes like the famous Shell House as we hug the rocky coastline. If you brought your dog, there's also a dog beach aptly named Playa Mascotas, which is Spanish for Pets Beach. As we make our way to the rainbow stairs, we find this beautiful cemetery along the way. So colorful, just like our next stop, the rainbow stairs located a few blocks inland. Another don't miss spot on your golf cart tour is the swing bar Via La Bea. This waterfront boutique hotel is best known for having beer so cold it'll make your teeth hurt. The views are pretty nice from the rocky beach here too. Very relaxing place. Once we sit down under a table with a shade of palapa, the friendly waiter brings us cold towels to refresh ourselves. We order classic margaritas to start, which are served in these colorful glasses. If those shells are keeping us from the registered guests, does that mean we've been conch blocked? Other frequent guests at the swing bar, which outnumber the patrons right now, are the playful iguanas. 
And before moving on to our next stop, we have to see if the beers really are in fact so cold they will hurt your teeth. They were cold, but not that cold. Cutting back across the island to the five-star Zoetry Villa Rolandi for lunch, we are just in love with this incredible resort. The entire property is impeccably maintained and the restaurant offers stunning views from every table. We order a margarita pizza and take our time to eat while soaking up this perfect weather. Before leaving Zoetry, we take a moment to appreciate this spectacular view one more time. For our last stop on our golf cart tour of the island, we have to see the highly recommended Miami meets Isla Mujeres Hotel called Isla. Don't miss the rooftop with amazing views of the island's inner channel. You'll also find day beds in the pool and a rooftop bar that is very popular at sunset. The views west to Cancun are great from up here. The beach at Isla Hotel offers loungers with umbrellas, hammocks, and of course the crystal clear water you can expect in the Mexican Caribbean. It's amazing how far you can walk out and still stand. It reminds us of Punta Cocos at nearby Isla Olbach. If you haven't seen that video yet, we'll link that for you in the info card above and the description below. Before we leave the gorgeous Isla Hotel, we wanted to give a shout out to our friends Brian and Dan who have given us amazing recommendations while we've been here. We've really enjoyed them and hope you guys have too. Thanks guys. It's time to return to town and drop off our wheels. We've had an amazing day exploring the island by golf cart. It's a must do experience for sure. If you're thinking about food on Isla Mujeres, you're going to love number two on our list, which is to taste mouthwatering local cuisine. Being on an island, seafood is the specialty. If you get up early enough, you can watch the fishermen haul in their catch of the day each morning. For some of the best lobster and fish tacos on the island, head to Coco on Playa Centro. Request a table upstairs for incredible sea views. Coco also has beach dining and loungers for rent if you'd like to spend the afternoon relaxing on the second blue flag beach on the island. Definitely try the fish tacos and the fresh grilled lobster with veggies and rice and beans is also very tasty. Our entire bill for two with a couple of margaritas and sparkling waters costs 1300 pesos or about $65. For dinner, don't miss Javi's Cantina with nightly live music and Mexican specialties. The entire space is very romantic, so it's the perfect restaurant if you are looking for a good place to organize a date night. We did not book ahead, so the only table available before the reservations is upstairs on the balcony, but we are happy to have it all to ourselves to enjoy the privacy and extra space for now. We order the guacamole and two margaritas, which are the classics that we use to determine the quality of every Mexican restaurant. Both are 10 out of 10. Javi's definitely has the best guacamole so far on the island. We order the waiter recommended Javi's wedge salad. When the food is messy, you know it's good. We also split the grilled chicken skewers with rice and veggies for our main. Our total meal cost for dinner at Javi's is 950 pesos, which is about $47. We'd definitely come back. For the best restaurant in Isla Mujeres and our favorite meal on the island, head to Olivia, which serves up the most delicious Mediterranean dishes. We order the chicken with a side of Andy's favorite, hummus, and tzatziki, my favorite, along with a huge Greek salad. The garden setting is again very romantic. This restaurant is so good, we ate here twice in five days. For number one on our list, the number one thing to do in Isla Mujeres is to swim with whale sharks. Good morning, amigos. We are up early. Just had a delicious breakfast at Cafe Mogagua, and now we are headed over to Mexico Divers for our whale shark tour. Super exciting. There was just a full moon, so there's evidently quite a lot of um, caviar, as he called it, um, fish eggs on the surface that are attracting the whale sharks right now. So July and August are the best time to come to Isla. The water is supposed to be super clear here compared to Hobashi Sat, so we're super excited that we waited to do our whale shark tour here. After our briefing, we hang out for a few minutes until the captain calls us for boarding. That's our boat getting prepped for us in the yellow. Once we board, we are issued our life jackets. There's also plenty of room on this boat as there are only four other couples along with the captain and two guides. After a quick 45 minute ride, we spot our first whale shark and are ready to jump in the water. The captain lines us up perfectly just in front of the whale shark's mouth. 
It's terrifying, exhilarating, and super fun to get up and close with this majestic creature. In no time, our 10 minutes is up, and we swim back to the boat as the next couple dives in the water. How was it? It was awesome. We got so close. Wow! For our next shark Sorry, encounter, Bill. the captain spots an even larger whale shark. We're a little more prepared this second time around. Hey guys, you ready? Okay, go. go. We jump in with our guide and are again perfectly positioned right in front of the whale shark. The water is remarkably clear and we capture some amazing footage with this guy as he slowly swims near us, completely not faced by our presence. Here he is heading up to the surface for another mouthful of food. What an incredible experience. Even on the surface, you can get a great view of the whale sharks and some perspective on their massive size. After each couple gets a second turn, we speed back to Playa Norte and our snorkel and swim spot while the crew makes fresh ceviche. Let's go snorkeling. Think too much. If you want to come in, you Let's can go eat the No, just stay here. <laughs> the offshore reef is filled with colorful corals and tropical fish. The sea fans wave gently with the waves. Trey makes a few dives down to get a closer look at the fish and corals. We're also pleasantly surprised to see so much color with the purple sea fans and bright orange and yellow corals. Back on the boat, we are mesmerized by the watercolor looking over to Playa Norte. This is why you come to Isla Mujeres. So what did you think of the tour? It was amazing. I never actually thought I would jump into water with sharks. <laughs> when I saw the tail and the fin, I thought, am I really about to jump off this boat directly in front of a shark's mouth? And we were the first to be let on. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. But these sharks are actually very non-aggressive. They're super majestic and very slow moving. So we didn't really feel threatened after we got in, but you do see shark's eyes. There are shark's eyes there. And they only eat fish eggs and uh, swimming in amongst the fish eggs. We only had fish eggs on our skin, so we were <laughs> fine. Well, that's a wrap for our top five best things to do in Isla Mujeres. It's our second trip over here already, and we'll definitely be back for more adventures. We just can't seem to get enough of the beautiful Mexican Caribbean. Before we head back to the mainland, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Hasta luego.